Good day, traders. It's October 8th, 2020, and your cherry bomb trade is in for today. It is with Microsoft MSFT, and it is a long call vertical. Microsoft has a liquidity rank of four out of four, super liquid, and an IV rank that is 31. So this is sort of in that maybe you feel like long premium is too much maybe you feel like it's uh you know uh, better to go short premium on this one but today's trade will have us going long premium adding some more bullish deltas and we will be in the november monthly expiration which is through earnings so if you're someone who likes to avoid the binary event of earnings this may not be the trade for you so before we get this trade built, let's just hop right into this platform. So I can say, hi everybody, my name is Neil and this is Option Theory. Thank you so much for joining us. If this is your first time joining us and you're relatively newish, the best thing you can do is head on down to that description and find the link that you can use to go sign up for Tasty Trades, Cherry Bomb Email Blast. Because what we do here is we build out a portfolio of trades, most of which are cherry bombs that come from this, just to prove our mechanics and our strategies. Uh, to practice our skills and we think that you know it's better to learn <laughs> like this than it is to learn where you're losing money so let's get those skills built right all right everybody let's build this trade so i'm inside of thinkorswim of course we use this simulated trading platform paper money here uh, and we're going to go over here to this analyze tab choose add simulated trade we're going to be in msft and we're going to be in the november uh, monthly with 43 days to expiration as of today. So really close to that tasty trade mechanic of 45 days. So that's good. And uh, we are looking at the at the money positions because when you do a long uh, debit spread in this case, uh, we tend to, what we do if we're following the tasty trade mechanic is to buy something that has intrinsic value and sell something that has a, extrinsic value only that's tends to be what you see uh taught if you want to follow that mechanic of course you can follow whatever mechanic you want but this is uh, the system that, uh, that we're testing the theories that we're testing here all right so clicking on the ask to buy the 205 here at the money and click, i'm going to hold down the control key and i'm going to click on the bid for the 210 call now we've got ourselves built a debit spread but the way I have my screen so that you can ideally read these numbers, that doesn't leave me a lot of room, so I gotta bring this guy up. So here we are looking at the vertical. I, mine is one contract uh, in size. Yours could be 10 is the default number. I did a video on how to change this. Feel free to check that out in um, my list of videos. I think I'm well over 150 videos now. So here we are looking to pay $2. That's our max risk. When you, the, one of the nice things about this is you know, you know, you're on the line for that $2, right? This value is just going to go down over time if you if nothing moved, right? So that also means take a look at the width, right? Subtract that from that and that's your max profit. Hmm, interesting. All right, so now that we've got this trade built, before we head into max profit, max loss, really, let's take a look at, um, I wonder if I said that wrong, that's the max we could lose. All right, anyway. Let's go to this risk profile and take a look at our probabilities. First thing you might want to do is set this calendar up here to expiration. When I see that's November 21st, I'm going to click there and choose November 21st. Now I can see my expected move here. And I like to make that fill up almost all of the available real estate that I have here. And then I want to slide this price slice to where it breaks even where this turquoise line meets this X axis here of zero. To easily do that, I'm going to click here, choose set slices to break even and add expiration rather than today, right? So even though that was yesterday. But anyway, here we go. So we are looking at, let's call it a 50-50 shot. And if you subscribe to the emails that you get from Tasty Trade, four of them, right, are the ones that come from Tom Preston with trade ideas. The, they always give you a screenshot of their platform, Tastyworks, which is an excellent platform, by the way. I also trade in my IRA there. So uh, definitely something worth checking out. But they also give you a statistic that's built into that platform called the P50, which as I understand it, runs a Monte Carlo um, simulation 
several of them so that you can uh, get an idea for the probability of you being able to make 50% of the max profit on that one. And that one is 60%, right? So with that said, what's our max profit? We can see here it's $300. So this is a relatively low probability debit spread for us here in this one. And you can tell because you're risking less than you can make. If typically, if that's the case, if you're risking less than you could possibly make, then it's more of a gamble, which is why we're at 50-50, right? All right, but there's a 60% chance that somewhere in the next 43 days, we'll be able to walk away with $150. That's yeah, relatively compelling compared to yesterday's trade, which based on the number of views we got for yesterday's Twitter trade, I could tell you weren't particularly interested in it. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, $77 of max profit for unlimited risk to the upside and massive risk to the downside, right? Yeah, it doesn't seem worth it. But in this case, $150, you're, uh, you know, risking two to make two, risk one to make one almost, right? So, all right, everybody, I'm going to right-click this trade. I'm going to choose confirm and send. We can see her max profit of $300. So we're going to look to manage that at $150 of profit. Max loss is $200 should microsoft go uh down with the market that would be bad right okay let's hit send that's going to put it in our working orders over here in the monitor tab we can see also that i'm looking to potentially close the spotify trade that we had on that didn't even pay attention to the market really yesterday after i put on yesterday's trade um so and in my ira i put a little uso on in real life so i'm curious to see how i think oil's going up there it is. All right. Very cool. That would work out for my naked put. All right. So thanks so much for joining us. If you've made it this far into my videos, I always want to give you a thumb up, thumbs up for making it this far because it helps me. And I appreciate that you have helped me by watching this far into the video. If you haven't yet subscribed, would you consider doing so? Um, I know. Take your time. It's all right. You know, I'll be here. I'm going to keep doing what I do. I hope you keep doing what you do. But eventually, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. And if you feel that I've earned a thumbs up as well, would you mind hitting that? Until I see you tomorrow in our final Cherry Bomb Trade of the Week, happy trading.